Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The purchase and pricing email question line for your questions about buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or our website. Email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing the SIHH 2019 Panerai Luminor Submersible 3-Day PAM 959. As you can see in a Luminor Submersible 1950 case, this 42mm stainless steel diving timepiece might be the best yet Panerai Luminor submersible and that includes some August company. Now we'll throw it on the wrist real quick but let's take a look at the thickness. Only 13.3 millimeters thick by 51.5 lug to lug and 22 millimeters between the lugs. This is a viable alternative something like a Rolex Submariner though admittedly the size and the color and the character very different from the Rolex product. As you can see low enough to fit underneath a cuff and Across the wrist, constrained enough to fit on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, it is very comfortable. And the strap that's included is superb, beautifully keyed to the colors of the dial and the bezel. You can see this is a vulcanized rubber strap with the 1970s style interlocking OP logo. It features a bellows at its end to make it more flexible where it joins the case. Note that this watch features the premium push tab spring loaded bar removal system for quick release and of course easy release of your strap for swapping because this is a Panerai naturally. You can see that it features a number of character lines to give it some definition but hollows on the underside to vent the wrist. A simple trapezoidal stainless steel satinated pin buckle for quick adjustment and you can see that 1950 style case. It's not the Alessandro Bettarini tuna can of 1993. This is the form that first bowed on the PAM 127 back in 2002 emulating the historic reference 615 it's more historically accurate and more beautiful. All of satin finish, it resists glare, and when you rotate to the clock side, you see the device protecting the crown, conceived in the 40s and put on products in the 1950s. Uh, this Panerai original was designed to supplant the original Rolex Oyster screw-down crowns. By lifting the leather, you unlock the crown for winding or for setting, and of course, you're able to quickly relock simply by depressing it. So it's easy to manipulate this crown while your hands are wet, sweaty, or gloved. Also, it's hard to dive with your crown unlocked versus leaving a screw down crown two or three threads out. Plus you get all aspect protection from abrasion against the crown. It is also an iconic design. You already know what watch you're looking at. That is the proof of iconic, timeless, enduring design. You have that iconic Panerai watch, the Luminor, but you get more. A ceramic blue insert on top of a diving bezel with the best diving bezel detent in the business. Have a listen. As sharp, loud, distinct, and mechanical as a big V8, every single click of the detent is self-evident. You can hear it from a mile away. This is the best feel, too, of any dive bezel. Luminor submersible, you do not disappoint. Now, you line up that luminescent pearl with the minute hand, and you have an impromptu zero to 60 minute timer. I prefer to a chronograph. So while this watch might be sometimes termed the baby Guillaume Nery, PAM 982. In fact, I prefer it over its big brother. You can also appreciate that there's an applique dial, so you have a lovely shark gray, and it is highly granular, as you can see, just like the PAM 982, giving it a wonderful matte texture. Uh, obviously, an upscale dial with applique indices rather than printed, and a lovely contrasting cyan seconds hand. Now the watch does feature hacking or stop seconds as you can see. It also features a quick set for the date that allows you to rapidly cycle the date should the watch encounter an irregular day month or rundown. And inside the case, underneath the case back, which features the image of the SLC or the manned torpedo of World War II, Italian Navy Fair, spec war guys, Desmo Flotilla. Well, you can see underneath that case back, or you're going to have to let the mind's eye see, the caliber OP-34. It's a Valfleurier movement created by Richemont's movement house in Valfleurier or I should say Fleurier, Switzerland. And, well, it is an interesting movement because it's a three-day power reserve, automatic winding, stop seconds, quick set date, beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, water resistant down to 300 meters. It's also exceptionally thin, which allows this watch to be incredibly narrow on the wrist. It's so flat, it fits underneath a dress cuff. And short of some of the Luminor Douay models, I don't often say that of Panerai timepieces. Uh, the movement is rock solid, pivots on 25 joules, and in 
in every regard gives this watch far more than the industry standard of durability and power reserve. Everything about this watch is geared towards function. The fact that it also looks like a hell of a lot of fun with color and character is a bonus. It is my favorite Panerai Luminor submersible in the still young 42mm case size. Stainless steel, ceramic, and rubber, all you need. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com to take the plunge with Panerai. The Luminor Submersible 959, note the minute hand and the bezel pearl, both blue for easy reference.